Well, trouble processing paperwork at the federal level has caused a labor shortage for many Georgia growers, including blueberry producers. Recently, Congressman Buddy Carter was in Alma to meet with a large group of growers who voiced their concerns about the government's H-2A program. The Monitor's Mark Wildman has the story. For Georgia growers, timing is everything when it comes to harvesting their crops. And when the crops are ready to be picked, workers have to be on site, or the entire crop will literally rot in the field. This year, problems with processing paperwork for the government's guest worker program, known as H-2A, has caused many farmers to not have labor on time and lose a lot of money. In three weeks, we won't need any hardly. But, but the last week, we needed twice as, or three times as many as what we had because it's so crucial to pick the fruit on time. And uh, we had a rain event Monday. I mean, that, you know, that just changes everything. We'd have had them all, uh, if all blue fruit could have been picked by before the rain, the farmers would be a lot better shape, but we just didn't have the labor to get to it at that time. In Alma, a large number of farmers were on hand to share their frustration with First District Congressman Buddy Carter. In my mind, there are two things that we need to really pay attention to and focus on. One is the immediate relief that we need to hopefully salvage something out of this crop this year. But secondly, is to make sure that this doesn't happen again. There's no excuse for it to happen again. And that's what we want to make sure we do is we learn from it. Whatever problems they've got, we get them corrected and it doesn't happen again. At the meeting, many producers like Waycross farmer Philip Mixon tell stories of a frustrating process of paperwork, having to use regular mail for delivery, the extreme high cost of the program, and the amount of money these delays have cost his farm. I was able to pull help from other friends, farmers that had help that, that you know, maybe their crop weren't ready. Uh, we all pulled together. I've managed to, to save my crop as far as, you know, not a total loss, but I did lose revenue. My best guess right now is that a minimum of half a million dollars that I lost in revenue because it weren't harvested on time. If, if I had not got it harvested or had my friends to help out, us pool together, I would have lost the whole crop. And, and my crop this year, the size it is, is probably around on the early varieties, it's probably around a $5 million crop. Growers who use the H-2A program have to file a lot of paperwork and have to make sure everything is correct and it costs them a lot of money up front. So farmers feel if delays continue, it will seriously threaten not only their farming operation, but the entire ag sector. When you pull, when you try to peel back the layers of that onion, it's just unbelievable, the bureaucracy up there. Well, we're not gonna take this and we're not gonna just, just let it get by without at least finding out, again, what we can do to solve this immediate problem and perhaps more importantly, make sure it never happens again. In Alma, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.